My name is Laura Koss and I run the Etsy shop Garden State Glasswork. My name is Bryn Mahoney. My Etsy shop is Island Wrapping Company. My name is Jessie and I'm the owner and maker behind the Etsy shop Make This Universe. I'm Sarah Pallone. My Etsy shop is Ocean's Cove. My name is Sylvia Nicole and my Etsy shop is Clark and Tap. My first sale was my big aha moment. I had the rare opportunity to work on my own dream. For the first time in my life, I felt empowered. I was in control of my own destiny. I remember my first sale like it was yesterday. My first cha-ching was from a stranger in another state who actually spent money on a little blue glass star ornament that I made with my own two hands. I immediately felt this weird mix of contradictory emotions. I was so proud of myself and I was so happy, but I was also scared and a little embarrassed. I was so excited, I literally jumped for joy. I didn't actually think anyone was going to buy my wrapping paper. I didn't have any kind of packaging. And now I had to ship this three foot roll of wrapping paper to another state. We drove to every post office on the island that we live on in search of a box. We somehow magically managed to get that order out on time. <laughs> it was just so exciting. It was honestly such a fun day. I was sitting at my kitchen table and all of a sudden my phone, it went ching Within about a day of the buyer receiving the item, I got a message from them asking if they could be returned. I was devastated. I decided, well, let me give it a month and I'll see how it goes. I took every piece of advice and I revamped my shop. Unfortunately for this first six months on Etsy, uh, it was crickets. I was waiting for that cha-ching, but it was nothing. So I plucked up the courage to reach out to one of kind of my Etsy idols. She immediately ended up buying um, one of my do-it-yourself deodorant kits. Not only was she my very first sale, but she ended up writing a blog post um, on her very successful lifestyle blog about how to make your own uh, custom deodorant using my kits. Slowly but surely, the sales started rolling in after the first two sales. I just felt so much more confident in my products. It just goes to show the power of Etsy is having access to other business owners who have handmade small businesses who understand your struggles and see the value of your handmade brands. So Baby Banks, thank you for being my first buyer ever. That one sale turned into 7,800 sales on Etsy alone. Etsy, thank you for existing and thank you for constantly investing in the success of your sellers. I feel lucky to be a part of the Etsy community. I'm so grateful to the Etsy buyer that made that first sale possible. You are so awesome. I feel like that first sale was when I really learned there's so much value in following through with those weird daydreams you have. If that first buyer hadn't returned the item, I might not have been as motivated to learn more and do better. I really want to thank the first buyer and I really want to thank the Etsy community at large because um, it's a fabulous place and my business would not be where it is today without you. Six years and thousands of sales later, including a few more from that very first buyer, I still sell a version of that little blue star in my shop. I sell this to remind me of that first sales whirlwind of emotions. Thank you, Etsy community, for pushing me out of my comfort zone and forcing me to live up to the crazy expectations that I set for myself.